Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom as I am attempting to catch up, you know, help me with Legend of Vox Machina. This is season three, episode four. We have part of the team trapped in hell looking for a vestige, but they don't know they're trapped. Oh no, because the other part of the group is trapped in a cave and it's the wrong cave. Why did they leave the original cave? Do we know? Do I? I don't remember. Why did we leave the original cave? Mm -hmm. But it was also an episode filled with relationship angst. We had Scanlan shooting his shot with Pike at not the right time. Mm, but she gently rebuffed him. And then we had Vax and Keyleth doing a, yes, there's chemistry between us, but our lives are going to go different ways after this whole mission is over. So don't even attempt a relationship now, which was mostly on Vax's part to which Keyleth went, mm, dude, I don't blame her. And then Vex, Vex found out that Percy was packing more than a pepper box in his pants. Try to say that 10 times fast. Woo, but it was a scene. Woo, it was a scene I was not expecting. But you know what? I appreciated. Thank you very much. So what the hell are we going to get next? <laughs> Well, we know because we're going to find out. We're going to watch. That's how we're going to find out. We're going to watch. Have I been drinking yet? No. No. But I do have some lemonade ready to go. Does it have a splash or two of Prosecco in it? Yes, because I have a bottle I need to finish in the fridge. Let me know what you're drinking. I would love to hear. Also, let me know where you are. And remember that full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. But if you're ready, I think I'm ready. Sure. Why not? Let's get to it. Everlight? Everlight? It's me! Pike! We're just diving right in. Kind of looks like a flashback from season one. If I've ever needed you, it's now. I felt weak the moment we entered the hills. Oh. Redemption does not exist in the realm of the damned. The hells of Despath are forbidden. Now you tell her. Your soul is precious. There are those in hell who would use it for wicked aims. Ignore my words and you will find yourself alone. Well, it's a little late to go back now. Where's the rest of her crew? Oh, I, I was just making sure we're being looked out for. Oh, you got us got our backs? Yeah, sure does. This is so epic. <laughs> Why does it just fill me with joy watching it? <laughs> Everyone down there is either a demon or is getting eaten by one. Well, we certainly don't look like we belong in hell. So who's the mayor of Dis? Just wondering. Heads of government. Law enforcement. Oh, let's get in costumes. Let's get in makeup. Let's get scary as hell. That's a, um, okay. Bigger antlers. What? A, a bunny? Come on. <laughs> How's this feel? Ah, <laughs> wicked. Come you okay? No. Maybe Keyleth was right. Is going through hell worth it for one vestige? Or maybe Pike should not have been the one to go through. Everything about this place just hell. feels wrong. Because like being here is a sin. Because it is. I don't think we can turn back. You can't. Okay, so what I meant by government, I meant somebody is at the top of the food chain here. So who is that? Where are you going? Is that this fella? Oh, um, uh, ah. the fallen soul. Yeah. <laughs> then we plan on collecting. Really? Is that, is that them? You lot are bold enough to see him. Yeah. <laughs> How long time? Looking for someone named Xerxes. 
They were scared of his name. So how did uh, Empress Hoosie What's It get down there and deposit the whatever? Whatever are we looking for? A shield? A shield or a thing of armor so quickly or appearingly to seem effortless. Still maintain it would have been safer to drill our way out. I can't remember. Does um Vex's quiver is it always full? Kima! Kima. She can't be far. What do you want to do? Look for Kima. <sighs> Maybe Pike should have waited by the door for them. We shouldn't be here. Uh, um, Pike, that's not how a demon behaves. Please, redeem this woman with your healing light. Pike, you are giving yourself a ah! Shit, Scanlan, your spell. I, I can't concentrate with all this screaming. Well, jeez, Pike, what kind of a move was that? <laughs> Pike, you just had to stay cool. The walls have eyes. Well, two of you can fly. <laughs> well, this wasn't stealthy at all, was it? Wow. 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 Thanks for helping us. I, I uh, hope. Mm -mm -mm. This will come at a cost. <laughs> that was just a bodyguard? That was just a bodyguard? Vox Machina. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Why does that voice sound familiar? Speak of the devil and he shall appear. We were sent by Jamanza Ord. They left something with you. <laughs> Not left. Lost. Oh. <laughs> oh. Every decade or so, Jamon comes to test their rather poor luck at my table. They shouldn't have wagered such an artifact, but I assume you have something to exchange for it. Oh, no. Well, what sort of stuff does a devil dude want? For a vestige, you'd have to make an exquisite offer. That would be Pike. And if I win, you stay as my guest. Indefinitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> of course, there's a contract. Shall we? Read it all, girl. Read it all first. She didn't read it. Read the terms and conditions. Your goal is to find my black skull before I find yours. How? By smashing your friend's skulls in? On each turn, you may ask your opponent any question to help locate it. However, you must answer all questions truthfully or incur a steep penalty. Again, the smashing your friend's heads in. First question is yours. Is it that one? <laughs> is your black skull to the right or left of your middle card? Your redeemer isn't here, is she? Left or right of what? Can, which direction? To the right. Who's right? That's your card. Sadly, no. Your friends rely on you. You must take pride in always being there to save them. To redeem them. We do not, do not choose. choose. Any, Any path, path can be a holy one. one. Yes. I, I was given a choice. Turns out the choice was a lie. Both paths led to the same end. My god betrayed me, as yours will too. You gave yourself away before. Your eyes, your black card, second from your left. No. What else might you have to offer at this point? What? She can't. Can't she? For the Plate of the Dawn Martyr, I will require something more substantial. 
the souls of your friends. Well, isn't Vax is already given away to somebody else, so he can't have Vax's soul. Fine. One round, winner takes all. Gosh, I hope she's playing him. Have you ever wondered if the Everlight needs you more than you need her? Never crossed my mind. <sighs> Two cards? Lying to yourself. Goodness, that's a new one. That's not fair. The truth rarely is. Hmm. Cut the shit. Which card is your black skull? <laughs> it's the one in my hand. <sighs> mm hmm. Do you ever wonder if your life would be better without the Everlight? Yes. Doesn't sound very faithful to me. I think I deserve to know who you are. Who you were. Ooh. I come from a time a thousand years ago. Backstory. When gods walked amongst mortals, and the world was ruled by magic. Has this not ruled by magic now? A member of the Brass Ring. A group similar to yours. I was blind as my friends condemned our civilization with their curiosity. You mean, the Calamity? And in the chaos, I found myself face to face with the Lord of Torment himself. He gave me a choice. Die with the rest, or join him and spare my family. I thought if I had enough time, I could reach him, save him, tame his turbulent heart. Ah. But there is no difference between the gods above and below. They all lie! Do you wish your family was here? What? Ooh. You chose this existence to spare your husband and child. All I hear is regret. So, do you wish they were here, suffering with you? Answer me! Of course not! not. I'm not even sure you knew you were lying. Ooh. After all, everyone has a tell. Unless he's fooling that one. It's rare for me to lose in my domain. However, I accept defeat. At what price? <laughs> oh, no, no, it's the star. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh. Oh. Guess the Everlight came through, huh? Uh. Oh, no, no. This is all Pike. Here, take this. It bears my mark. You'll need it to get safely through Death's Path. This is going way too smoothly of an exit. She has no idea what courses through her veins. The seed of doubt has been planted and will fill her heart with vengeance. Your orders. Leave her. Kill the rest. We are his blood. The time for his ascension draws near. Gosh, we have another mega villain coming up. Another mega villain? Can't eat any more bugs. One! What are the chances that isn't for us? Hmm, I say 50 30? Just run. I hate masks. Oh, and that was the end! And that was the end. Not gonna lie, Xerxes was kinda hot. <laughs> And introducing another even bigger bad guy. There's too many on the board. Too, too, too many on the board. So what have we learned? What have we learned this episode? Pike-centric? Pike is trying with all of her might to hold on to her faith. What courses through her veins? Is it the absolute power of vengeance? <laughs> against everything and everyone she believes in? And what will turn that tide? And who has vestiges now? I think everybody but Keyleth and Percy? Because I don't know if you'd count Vax's wings and his beholdenness to the matron as a vestige. 
His power level got amped, but I don't think that's a vestige. And do we get back to the surface? Well, obviously do, because the story continues, but at what cost? <laughs> Plot thickens. <laughs> I don't know if I keep track of all of it. There we go. Episode four. Woo Thank you so much for being with me. And until next time, which hopefully won't be too long, take care of yourselves. Hit subscribe so that you know when the next video drops. Stretch your bodies. Stay hydrated. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.